Meow, 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 la 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 la. Meow, 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 la 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 la. Hey everyone, so today I have another 90s nostalgia review, um, and this is Meow Meow, as you can tell by the very awkward introduction. The thing that first drew me to Meow Meow, it's a program on Milkshake, if you haven't seen it. It wasn't originally by Milkshake, um, but more on that soon. The first thing that drew me to this was the title sequence, and it is just Meow 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 Meow. Do turn to your friends and go Meow, and if they go Meow, they are friends that you want to have for life. Seriously, it's great. Um, I love it so much, um, but once I actually started watching it after I'd seen the introduction, I fell in love with this. But this is also a bit as well for information. Do you remember another clay program where they make different shapes out of clay? They were like troll kind of creatures and they made shapes out of clay and it was really weird. If you know that, please tell me in the below in the comments because I really want to know what that program is called and I can't find it. But this clay program is just as exciting. It's about the adventures of two cats, um, Meow and Meow, and they're made out of clay. Um, so the plot for me is not overly enthralling, you know, for me, I am nearly 20, I will be 20 in a couple of weeks, yay! Um, finally getting out of teenage years, it's taken me seven years to get out of this, um, that's another story. For me, it's not the plot about this, you know, they go on different adventures, they'll discover a new object, they have to they get curious, you know, curiosity kill the cat, it's a little bit dangerous for them, they have to find out what it is, they will either like it or they'll find that, that it's quite scary, and then that's the end of the episode. Each episode is like five minutes, it's not long at all. So the plot for the children watching it, because it is a kid's show, is going to be quite interesting because the kids get to discover these new objects with the cats and learn about them. For me, the art of this is with the clay formations. Everything in it is made out of clay and you can see things moulding and you can see it's not like precise clay because you can see like thumbprints and a couple of things and things things and things and <laughs> I could start singing in a minute um, you can see like thumbprints and like the way it's been shaped and chiselled and things which I think is the beauty of it, it's intentional you know like, whereas you have Pingu is Pingu made out of clay? I think it used to be Pingu everything is perfectly shaped whereas with Meow Meow you can see that things have been made out of clay and you can see that um, and that for me is the beauty of it, and it looks fantastic. You can tell a lot of work's gone into each episode, which is probably why they're so short, because, you know, it takes a very long time. I think of Wallace and Gromit, how long that must take? Uh, there's a, a feature on Blue Peter a couple of years ago, maybe five years ago plus, where they showed us sort of behind the scenes of Wallace and Gromit. It was so weird. Um, anyway, this is absolutely fantastic in structure, and that's what I really do like about it a lot. But obviously you have morals for the kids, it's very educational, Providing the kids look past the whole meow meow thing. To be honest, I sat through each episode just going meow, 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 meow. If you've never seen the theme tune, even if you don't want to watch an episode, which you do want to watch an episode, I promise you you do. But even if you don't want to, you just want to check out the theme tune. I will post this as a video response to the theme tune, but in case you don't accept, go and just type in meow meow theme or just meow meow and it'll come up. It is, oh, it's hilarious. The weird thing is, um, this... And this is going to, <laughs> in fact, this doesn't even really make it a 90s nostalgia show, I don't think. It first came out in 1974 and ran until 1976. I wasn't born then. Um, it might have been played prior to its relaunch, but it first came back in, in, in 2005, sorry. Which means it's only been on the go for six years. Which means I, how old was I six years ago? Hmm. I'm an English student, not a math student. These things take time. 14. Okay, that was a lot longer than it should have taken. Six years ago, I would have been 14. Did I first watch this when I was 14? It's possible. I was still kind of catching the hoops when I was 14. I still love the hoops. Have I reviewed the hoops? I think I have. If I haven't, I will. Um, but I'm sure I'm praying that this was on TV before 2005, you know, the older episodes. Just to say that I did watch this when I was younger and young enough to actually be the target audience. Now I'm nowhere near the target audience, but I still love it so much. As I said, I really appreciate the fine craft that goes into this. The stories are quite nice, and it's about cats. It's not entirely realistic. The cats are white and, I think, red. I mean, the white one, I guess, is kind of realistic, but red. I know, a bit weird. Um, but it's just so beautiful and so funny and so psychedelic and just utterly bonkers, which is why I love it. Go and, um, you, I'm pointing up there because the search bar is up there. When I do my videos, I picture the YouTube screen up. And it's really weird how I do this. I'm just mental. I belong on this program. <laughs> I'm just one of the cats. I'm crazy. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I have no idea. Yes, 
search bar up there, go and type in Mio Meow theme tune, go check it out, you will love it. Um, as I said, the episodes are not long, so go and check out an entire episode. It's it's great fun, and it really is. If you have any more suggestions for 90s nostalgia reviews, or early noughties reviews, um, let me know and I'll get onto them. I, as I say at the end of every 90s nostalgia review, I do do them as often as I can, but I only do them when there's nothing else to talk about as far as current airing shows go, because it makes more sense for me to talk about a TV show that's on just now, rather than the one that was on 10 years ago, and then, you know, get things quite mixed up. But looking at my timetable next week, there's quite a few current shows which I'm going to talk about, which is great. But the week after that, I don't think there's going to be much. So I'm planning on talking about, perhaps, um, Casper. Um, I've stopped talking about Mio Meow, by the way, so if you don't want to know any more about what I'm doing in upcoming videos, you can stop watching, but I just want to quickly go through a couple of potential 90s reviews that are coming up, and if you want some of them sooner rather than later, let me know. Um, I'm talking about Funny Bones in two days' time. Um, Mio Meow is today, yes, shut up, Amy. Um, Casper, I want to talk about Casper, possibly um, that program about the otters, oh, um, P, 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 oh, P, B and Otter, P, P, oh, I've got the title written down, I just can't remember it, um, Little Bill, um, Franklin, um, Old Bear, if I haven't done that already, I may have done, um, da, 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 da. I had a list of like a couple of ones that I want to talk about sooner, um, the Weekenders. Do you remember The Weekenders? Weren't they great? Brace face. Ah, oh, I'm getting quite excited. Um, yeah, but let me know your thoughts. Um, please feel free suggestions and things like that. And I'll see you next time when my head's not as fuzzy. Bye.